हेलो फ्रेंड्स आर यू लुकिंग फॉर जॉब इन स्ट्रक्चर इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड और मे बी यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड अ करियर इन स्ट्रक्चर इंजीनियरिंग वन टू क्लियर दैट इंटरव्यू एंड गेट दैट ड्रीम जॉब एट एन एम एन सी और मे बी यू आर अ प्रोफेसर एट अ कॉलेज और साइट इंजीनियर और प्रोजेक्ट कोऑर्डिनेटर और थ्री डी मॉडलर एंड वॉन्ट टू शिफ्ट योर कैरियर इन टू स्ट्रक्चर इंजीनियरिंग बट फॉर सम रीजन यू आर नॉट एबल टू कन्वर्ट द इंटरव्यू वट इज द प्रॉब्लम वाई इट इज सो हार्ड वाई आर नॉट दे कॉल इन यू फॉर द इंटरव्यू एंड इवन इफ दे डू कॉल यू वाई आर नॉट यू गेटिंग सिलेक्टेड फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज सतीश जेठवानी एंड टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड अफकोर्स अबाउट इट्स सोल्यूशन अ रियलिस्टिक सॉलिड सोल्यूशन Do you know? According to a survey done by NASCOM, out of 15 lakh engineering graduates every year, only 2.5 lakh succeed in securing a job in core engineering field. And the biggest reason, the biggest problem is lack of conceptual knowledge in their respective field. That means lack of employability. That means lack of skill set. Which employer is looking for? Which interviewers are looking for? Which companies are looking for? And this problem is rather worldwide. Friends, do you know? A lot of MNCs approach us while looking for eligible engineers to hire, and they always seem to ask for those engineers who has employability and the ones who has proper skill set. Actually, we have our own consultancy company and training company. and these mncs regularly approach us for competent employable engineers and it is only obvious friends try putting yourself in their shoes if you were the interviewer or the owner of the company whom would you give that job of course to someone who has the necessary skill set the one who has the required knowledge and if these things are not even mentioned in their resume well then why would you even call them for an interview so friends let us first understand what are these skill sets necessary for structure engineering field what is this particular knowledge required for structure engineering field friends you basically need five skills to get a job in structure engineering these five skills are absolutely necessary to build an excellent career in structure engineering field now let's go through them one by one first skill requirement and the most important skill is structural conceptual knowledge now let us understand what exactly is this structural conceptual knowledge Now, friends, let's assume you learn the software such as STAIR, ETEP, or any other analysis and design software. And now you know how to model column, how to model beam, bracing, but you don't know where to put bracing. That means you don't have enough knowledge as to how to decide bracing location. You don't have the knowledge as to how to decide column orientation. Then. there is no meaning of learning the software friends this is our first required skill structural conceptual knowledge you must know how to decide the bracing location how to decide column orientation how to decide support fixity how to decide location of shear connection how to decide location of moment connection you must know how does the force transfer mechanism takes place in rcc if you know the steps for foundation design then you are designing the foundation the foundation is safe in all checks except for the fos against sliding say it is less than 1.5 then what you will do will you increase the plan dimension or maybe increase the depth or you will increase the thickness 
This is called conceptual knowledge. Let us suppose you calculate a reinforcement area, but you don't know which layer goes above and which one below. In vertical wall, you have no idea which layer to be kept outside and which one inside. All of this comes under the umbrella of structural conceptual knowledge. So friends, if you only have the basic software knowledge and lack that conceptual knowledge, then only 10% of the job is done, 90% still to go. So friends, if that is the case with you, how can you expect to get a job as a structure engineer? The second skill set is interface knowledge. Now, what do you mean by interface knowledge? Friends, in a project, a structural engineer has to coordinate with many interdisciplinary engineers such as geotechnical engineer, mechanical engineer, equipment engineer, piping engineer, instrumentation engineer, and electrical engineer. So, a structural engineer should know what sort of inputs to expect from all these people. Industrial structures generally support several equipments. So, you must know how to study equipment drawings, how to get the load from these drawings. We should also know which points are important from bulky specifications, how to study a geotechnical report, how to study vendor catalogs for different products being used in industrial projects. So, all these points come under interface knowledge. The next is Codal Knowledge. Friends, as a structure engineer, you should be well versed with all the relevant codes. You must know IS 800, IS 875, IS 456, IS 13920, IS 1893 and many other such codes. And the next is Software Knowledge. Of course, knowledge of software such as state, ETAPS or any other analysis and design software is absolutely necessary. By this, I don't mean just modeling a structure and clicking on the run analysis button. No, not at all. A structure engineer should have a detailed know-how of each and every relevant function of the software along with its practical applications. He should know when to release which specific force, I mean FX or FY, FZ or MX, MY or MZ and why to release that specific force. You should also know how to define support specification. You should know about which axis the support has to be released and about which axis it has to be fixed. You should know what are the design parameters and how to define them. I mean. You should be aware of what is LY, LZ, UNL, LX, DJ1, DJ2, MAIN, DFF, etc. And if you don't know all these functions and only know how to model and run analysis, then sorry to say my dear friends, but it is really difficult to get the job. In software, you should know how to study the output. Merely looking at the pass or fail status won't cut it. You should know how to interpret the output. You should know which stress is permissible, which one is actual. What is the value of bending stress? What is the value of torsion stress, axial stress, etc. And when I am talking about software, I don't mean only design and analysis softwares. You should also know MS Excel. Majority of the engineers don't have the knowledge of many such important commands in Excel which are frequently used in structure design templates. That also one should know. Now, the last but not the least is detailed calculation knowledge. Which means design and calculation knowledge, which of course include manual designs too. You should know how to design beam, how to design column, footing, slab, plus you should have also known crane girder design, monorail design, RCC bracket design, ductile detailing, reinforcement detailing. Friends, even though we get the reinforcement output from the software, placement based on this output is not feasible all the times. It has to be modified. We need to rearrange it and accordingly we need to provide the input to draftsman. 
we need to understand this philosophy as well you should know the design of base plate and anchor bolts another important point is project load combinations throughout our academic studies we have learned only four to five load combinations for true industrial applications this need to be elaborated into hundreds of combinations we need to learn this concept too if putting fails in tension one has to use tens chart so what is tens chart and how to use it is also something that you must know if you have to design a retaining wall with buttresses you must know bodies chart you should also know how to conduct fpm analysis for plate elements if we talk about industrial floors they can be made of metal deck or grating or even checkered plates you should know how to design all this how to study the catalogs related to these elements depending on the catalogs you need to decide the layout of secondary beams you should be aware of all these things now friends if you have this five skill sets why wouldn't anyone hire you definitely they will this is what interviewers are looking for this is what companies are looking for this is what we call employability if you are still not getting a call back then jot down all these points in your resume and highlight them write down i have knowledge of structure conceptual knowledge i have knowledge of interface engineering i know all the relevant codes i know the required softwares i have knowledge of detailed calculations do this and i assure you friends that you will land a job in structure engineering but now the next problem which is rather bigger is where to get all this knowledge from where to attain all this skill sets because if you are a fresher i mean if you are just completed your be or me or maybe you have a experience but in some other field then you won't be having this knowledge well then where can you get this knowledge from where can we learn all these things a lot of people might argue we will learn all this as we will work for some company yes of course you will but the problem with that is no one will hire you without this knowledge and if no one will hire you then how will you attain this knowledge everyone is not that lucky to score a job without this knowledge then the only remaining option is to opt for a good structural engineering institute to learn all these things now i agree that there are hardly two to three institutes in the country with genuine passion for teaching structural engineering and one of them happens to be us we cover all these things at our institutes as well however it is not necessary that you opt for us only but whenever you are out there looking for an institute make sure number 1 along with teaching the software they also cover all these concepts thoroughly number 2 the trainer at the institute ought to have at least 10 to 12 years of actual industrial experience at an mnc not just theoretical knowledge and have a thorough understanding of all the practical problems and their solutions too furthermore it shouldn't be the case that initial few lectures are taken by him and rest are taken by junior faculties friends if you want to learn structure engineering at our institute at easy then you are most welcome our training is totally dependent on these skill sets they too with exclusive models so that your core concepts are totally clear you will have the real feel of the structures the real feel of engineering the real feel of forces with extraordinary models amazing props and unique training techniques you can literally feel the force transfer where is the compression where is the tension where is the bending where is the torsion how to orient the member and why to orient in that specific manner and the most important thing is 
all the sessions will be conducted by me only i have 20 years of industrial experience moreover what if i told you that if you don't learn your money would be refunded let's make it even better what if i say you don't pay if you don't learn yes friends you heard it right world's first institute which takes its first installment when you are already halfway through your course if you don't understand you don't pay friends you know if you are pursuing b then this could be even the best form of internship training for your final year our training certificates are accepted by all the engineering universities and colleges in india to apply for our internship program please click on the i button and just fill up your contact details for details of course topics and duration you can watch the video available on i button for demo session you can click on this i button details brochures website contact numbers are available just below for fees detail type fees and whatsapp us on this given numbers thank you so much friends for watching this video looking forward to make you a great structure engineer